you strike him, you knock him down. It ain't about how you look, it's about how you hit. Crimson Tide is the top seed wearing the home uniforms. Underdogs tonight as they were in Atlanta. Georgia favored by a pound of field goal. Nick Saban seeking his eighth national championship. It's a record is seventh at Alabama. Adapted to tailor his coaching style to build confidence and leadership in this young team. Maybe his best job ever, many think. his best quarterbacks ever that's for sure his quarterback plays his best when the lights are the brightest and that's what they're going to be tonight georgia bitter taste from that latest loss to alabama is this their night to send off a, a celebration down to the, the peak state they waited since the herschel walker era to raise the ultimate trophy inside Lucas Oil Stadium tonight and here come the Crimson Tide never seen Anything like it in this sport, the dominance that Alabama has put on display. And Kirby Smart and this group of Bulldogs be the team to prevent another trophy. Looking into Kirby's face here, man. He worked all this time for this moment. Well, these dogs believe it's been a question is Alabama in their heads Kirby Smart Kirk knows everything about re-energized refocused no doubt about that being around these two teams I don't know if there is an edge emotionally after the way they played in Atlanta where it was clear Bama had the edge being that underdog Georgia bringing out some big people Sawyer Jordan Davis for the coin toss. It's an ACC crew in charge of this championship game, and Dwayne Haight is the referee. Georgia, Alabama, congratulations on your great seasons, and welcome to the 2022 College Football Playoff National Championship. My name is Dwayne Haight, and this is Johnny Fort of the ACC. We're honored to be here today. Georgia, you've been designated to call today's coin toss. We have a special coin today. On one side is the college football playoff logo. That side will be heads. And on the other side is Lucas Oil Stadium. That side will be tails. Georgia, heads or tails, what is your selection? Tails is called. It is tails. Georgia, you won the coin toss. Georgia has won the coin toss and is elected to defer their option to the second half. Alabama, you want to receive? Which way would you like to kick? Which backs to here? Your backs to here? So the dogs trust their defense, and they'll put the football in the hands of Bryce Young. Great to have Holly Rowe and Molly McGrath on the sidelines. Holly's on the Bama side with Nick Sullivan. True freshman for Alabama awaits at the goal line. It's a high kick. Young. Look at those numbers. 46 and 5. Can they pressure? Can they get him to the ground? They couldn't do it in Atlanta. Now, and it's amazing to think first quarterback to win a Heisman Trophy in Alabama school history. Replacing Mac Jones, who had a great year last year, is off to the NFL. And we've seen Bryce Young take that baton this year and continue to play outstanding football for this offense. And Bill O'Brien is the new offensive coordinator this year. Brian Robinson. 1,200 yard rusher he waited patiently for this chance to the quarterback's right. And he 
he's got the football running left, and Kobe Dean needs him. But Georgia is their front seven that's had mostly dominating performances. Georgia wasn't set. Robinson, the pitch on the edge, cuts it back, but they swarm him and stop him a couple yards short of the marker. Quay Walker. Bulldogs do bring some pressure. The ball is caught by Slade Bolden, who's got a first down, forced out of bounds on the far sideline by William Poole. And they've done this all year when they blitzed their linebackers. Round one, Pamba picked it up. Brian Robinson does a nice job. Does Once you get it picked up, you have an opportunity to win the one-on-one -on -one matchups. Bolton, the veteran receiver. Did it three times in Atlanta. Young. And they get him to the ground finally. Big Jordan Davis. 350 pounds. The ball comes out. It's Dean running for the end zone. And they signal a touchdown. Didn't get blown dead. Not just a sack, but the big man in the middle forces the takeaway if it stands. Yeah, I think Bryce Young tried to throw the ball to get rid of it. Shocking that the play stayed alive. But you're right, relentless effort from Jordan Davis to come up with this sack. No reviews, wasn't short. He didn't think the ball had come out. The Kobe Dean was alert. Watch Davis on the over the center. The young center, McLaughlin, gets around him and shows you what kind of quickness he has. You can see that Bryce Young, I think he felt the pressure and he just kind of threw it. Just almost like he threw it down because he didn't want to take a sack. See how he kind of brings it down? Jordan Davis clamped onto his right arm. They're going to take a look at this to see if it's an incompletion or a fumble, but N'Kobe Dean heads up takes it into the end zone to be sure let's go to uh our expert in the boot go what, what do you see there what, what do you believe that uh, peter boss the acc replay official is looking at i see control of the ball and his hand goes forward he's trying to pass it now the hit impacted the throw but i have him putting the ball forward. show you something because i want you to watch 95 wyatt who looked like his head was off sides, which would have negated the play completely. It would have been a free play and a five-yard penalty. He gets away with it. There's a no call on the field, so the play is live. But if they would have seen Wyatt, boy, he looked like he was off sides to me at the line of scrimmage in his line. There's the key up part of this replay right here. feels that he had control of the ball the arm was moving forward when it came out of his incredibly quick the after further review the quarterback's hand was moving forward for an incomplete pass second down so relief and the review takes dean Richard fans still unhappy with the reversal on the edge jamison williams gets a couple of blocks and tries to hurdle a defender hand this off or if he's got numbers out to the up to the outside he takes it they motion the two the tight end he takes pick up the first down in the tide using tempo play action sidearm pitch is young second and ten they bring pressure again it's picked up and latu makes the catch and the tight end muscles down near the marker. Chris Dew without him in the win over Cincinnati. And it turned Williams into more of a possession receiver. Third and one. Pitch to Robinson. Who followed it initially. He will make the first down. Dean, who's very, very good playmaker on third down, just attacks him. Pitches it out. Picks up just enough of a block from B Billingsley there on the safety. 29, Smith. Smith gets off the block, but by then he was running downhill. Right here. Pressure over the middle and makes a quick decision and finds Bolden for from right here. You're gonna bring one receiver here, and then you'll see another quick slant right behind it. Seven clears it, and then right out of the backfield, Bolden, who you talked about, just slid while the linebackers cleared out with him. So Georgia's big people have a chance to come back in the game on second and one. Sanders takes the pitch and he'll fight just to get back near the two's block. So he's trying to just kind of seal that edge and force fighting through it. Not only gets off the block, but does a pretty good job of here. Makes the check. Here he comes. He escapes again. Makes a downfield throw and it's broken up. 
incomplete, trying to get the ball to Billing. Show blitz here. They get pressure on the outside, but the tackle has to respect that blitz and come down. When he comes down, it makes it easy for Walker, and all they did was show blitz and back out with Walker. They went after William Poole a lot in that game in Atlanta. He was targeted frequently. Asked to step in and play a bigger role. Play a chance. Quick throw. Catch made on the edge by Ja'Cory Brooks, and he's spun down inside. And his poise that he's played with all year. Big play early here. Tied in the red zone. Dogs bring pressure again, and the receiver slipped. That was billing his leg. I don't know if his feet got tangled or he just slipped. So, see Lewis signs on him, and, or Lewis seen rather, is on him, and he just loses his feet. Bill O'Brien thought he had the matchup that he wanted with Billingsley. A consistent kicker this couple of years. Will Riker 18 to 23 on the season, and he hammers it right through. So Georgia, which really doesn't give up first quarter touchdowns. Off the poise that he plays with, but he's, he went a little bit more the traditional path to Alabama. Bennett, for a guy who's listed at 5'11", might be about 5'9", has a lot of swag for a smaller guy, has a tremendous amount of belief in himself, and the performance against Michigan was tremendous. I mean, again, I think it was back to being Stetson Bennett, Todd Monken as the offensive coordinator. They were, they were running the football. And Samir White, call him Zeus, in the backfield. They fake it to him. Bennett pressured on the rollout, and he's going to be sacked immediately. Christian Harris got there. And it's a big loss. To Stetson Bennett back here in case the action comes away. Watch his discipline to stay back off of that. And he, I mean, you're talking about a linebacker who is a corner and a wide receiver in high school. Tremendous athletic ability. Bennett can, he can move. He's got balls. We're in the first minute against Bama. After the 14-yard loss, Georgia way behind the six here. Snap. Delay a game. Disconcerting signals. Defense number 10 clapping. Five yard penalty. Second down. And Toe clapping on to your right. Middle linebacker Toe Toe right there. Officials on top of it. They immediately jumped in. You see he's doing it right now. He's still trying to. He's the, he's the kind of the liaison between the sideline and the field. And it escapes. As open field just dropped the ball. It bounced right back. Touch the linebackers immediately where they go. Boom, they're gone. So now Bennett, who told us yesterday, I have to run today. I have to run the football when we drop back to throw because the man-to-man. -man. He tries to do too much at the end, and how fortunate is he? And it's got to hurry. Just did he get it off? Play clock was right at zero, and Kirby did not get the timeout call. Clearly a lot going through Bennett's head at the moment, Kurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think first drive, big one. Now it's third and ten. Tide brings some pressure. Bennett flushed, thinks about running, and just flips it short. It's incomplete. And Joe out, one of the starting corners. Armour Davis, the other. You see Jackson, who's a junior college transfer this year. Very talented player, but new to the scheme. He played last week against Cincinnati when they had some injuries. He's starting. The senior ball could be a weapon. And that's an excellent boot. Driving Slade, bolting all the way back inside the 20, where he makes a fair cat receivers. And this is Jamison Williams. Tracked down behind the line of scrimmage by William Poole and Tyndall. Alabama on 14 plays, I would say close to half of them have been to the edge. They're clearly trying to attack the edge, the perimeter of this default to make plays outside. Second and 11 across the middle. That's Williams making the catch of the man who victimized the dogs with the outside on Robinson. It opens it up one on one for Jamison. He is outstanding on the high ball. 15-yard gain and tempo again. Drop the game. Young again to Bolden, who's got the ball across the 40. Short of unimportant. Down to three. Williams in motion. Backpedaling. Young gets it to Bolden, but he's not going to get there. 
Lewis Seed came flying in. In the middle here, right to the outside, but Lewis Seed does a great job of following this to the outside, in position, comes up there and makes the tackle on Bolden. Also, the pressure. How many times did we see Bryce Young falling back? You never saw it. Make one first down, and then the dogs rise up and do get off the field. James Burnham. Hi, Boo. And we get to make the fair catch is Karis Jackson. And takes over at the 25 for a shaky opening possession. And the ball off to James Cook. One guy that Saban is very wary of us about this game. Watch him get off this block. Everybody wants to talk about him as a pass rusher, and I get it. I mean, he's had 17 and a half sacks. I mean, what blows you away when you really watch him is how physical he can be and how heavy-handed he is in getting off blocks and being involved. Pretty good job of that, but I get you. Yeah. Tough run stop as well. It's Cook who goes in motion, and Kenny McIntosh takes the handoff, trying to get the edge, but the long wow. arm Christian Harris got him. How about Christian Harris? Jay for 163, tries to lock up on Harris. He's, he hits him back, but Harris' is awareness. And just Chased again, trying to create on the run, fires, and no chance. Anderson was chasing him. Sure, and they're able to work to the inside or outside. You just find a matchup that you can win, and that's what he does. See that? I mean, he doesn't get this sack. He gets around Erickson, but you make the quarterback, Stetson Bennett, now all of a sudden he's got to get to the outside. He only has one receiver out there. He's got no... And that, that, that's, that's as impressive on a third down as coming up with any kind of play. First boot is 55. This one not quite as long. Fair cut. There's a flag there today. Fair punt. That'll cause Fair the catch dogs. interference. Number nine. Kicking team. 15 yard penalty. First down. It's a simple middle mistake. Time out. But giving Bryce Young 15 yards better field position to begin at the 45. It's a costly one. Penalty. Gives Bam a good field position at the 45. And Young has time and airmails one of your receivers stacked to the right. And Sanders running back to the boundary and hit hard. Slammed down by Quay Walker and seen. Downhill in a hurry. Watch 16 lower his shoulder. Bang right there. Gets lower than the ball carrier Sanders. Six. Pressure on the run. The low throw. Exactly. They bring pressure, but instead of bringing it, they drop. They end up dropping and playing zone. I think they caught Bryce Young by surprise. The backers settle in. None of the crossers are working. By the time he figures out where he wants to go with the ball, you see the pressure by Trayvon Walker and Quay Walker both getting into it. scrimmage and most of the Personal teams foul. they played they've been able to do to that face. offense number 54 at the distance to the goal first down it's the tough physical guard five now and right in the middle of your screen gets his hand up just in that side of the helmet the umpire right there first and 14 that's Bauer as it comes in motion and white is a Physical. Quick throws to be able to get back to the run game. And it took a look for Bowers, fires it across the middle, and it sends another tight end. And they call Big O, Darnell Washington, and it give him an option route. Watch him work to the inside on Toto, and then back outside. Good read by the quarterback and the tight ends. And they fake it to Bowers. Here's a downfield shot. George Pickens, a down. This is a matchup we wanted to see to the left. He gets inside of him. Safeties are caught up on the crosser, so it's one-on-one. -on -one. What a throw by Bennett to put it up into the air to give Pickens a chance to get separation and then go get the ball and lay out. And then he on the spring. It's been a tough rehab. He hasn't been 100%, but when he is, he's dangerous. And now that's the top receiver for Georgia. The freshman from Napa, Brock Bowers, who muscles down to the 20. 
dogs have come to life son. back again to your bread and butter what an effort here by pickens not just to catch it but because he turned his body he was able to hold on to that football if he doesn't make that extra effort of spinning and getting that ball in his stomach that ball probably hits the surface and comes out had just four catches for 55 yards they've been waiting and hoping to get him back he's got to feel comfortable in that knee and his start up front ball start offense number 69 five yard penalty first down a little, a little bit early there trying to reach and he's been asked about inside of 10 seconds in the quarter now first and 15 and they hand it off into heavy traffic they just couldn't move big dj dale out of the way could they <laughs> So Bama gets three on their first possession. Dogs trying to answer. End of the first quarter in Indy. Watching the college football playoff national championship game presented by AT&T.